Throw away the paper, the HP Slate 500 HTML5 from Adobe, and Legos that make other Legos. I'm Callie Lewis. Welcome to Geek Beat TV. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Squarespace. Ever heard of Yojimbo? It's an app for Mac users that helps you to organize your life. All that information that's constantly pouring in that can be hard to keep track of? Well, Yojimbo helps you keep track of it. It's a very well done app. I've used it before. I'll be completely honest with you here though. I tend to get a little frustrated with these kinds of organizational apps as well as to-do list apps because there's already so much going on on the computer. Too many distractions. I'm a geek through and through, but my to-do lists are on paper to get them away from the craziness of multitasking. Same thing for organizing information. At Macworld, I had a paper version of my schedule, meetings, hotel address, all of it. People make fun of me, but seriously, have you ever been to a conference? You know that internet access, even on your phone, is very unreliable. So to get to the point of this, Yojimbo announced an update 3.0, and the part I'm excited about is its iPad companion app. You can keep the information for access while connected or offline. It supports PDFs, documents, web pages, you name it. So that schedule I need or confirmation numbers and flight numbers all can be accessed with no issue without carrying around a piece of paper. Though I'm sure people will just find another way to make fun of me. Not only is Apple releasing the App Store on Macs, Microsoft is launching the Games for Windows Marketplace. At first, you'll be able to pick and choose from about 100 game titles to download and play on your PC. You'll also be able to take advantage of the deal of the week. For example, want Grand Theft Auto for 75% off? Grab it for a total price of $3.75. Some of the games you'll know well, Grand Theft Auto 3, Gears of War, Halo, Lego Universe, the list goes on and on. As this is normal for this kind of thing, you'll have to have a Windows Live ID, Zoom tag, or Xbox Live tag. So put it on your calendars and get your game on starting November 15th. Through rumors and leaks over the last little while, we've come to know the HP Slate 500. It's a Windows 7 Slate or tablet with an 8.9 inch screen using a 1.86 gigahertz Intel Atom Z540 processor, two gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigs of solid state goodness. It also has a three megapixel camera and plays 1080p video. Now, the news here is its price. They finally announced it, $700, whew. They're targeting business customers. It's a nice gadget. We shall wait and see if there's adoption at that price. There's been a whole lot of hub, hub, hub about HTML5 versus Flash, and there's been a ton of drama due to Adobe and Apple's relationship. Apple has been very vocal about not liking Flash, obviously, since you can't even view Flash videos on their mobile devices. Well, to bring you up to speed on this little tech soap opera we've got going on here, Adobe is answering the HTML5 call. Video content creators can now use an Adobe widget to create HTML5 ready videos. What's nice about this is, let's say you make an HTML5 video and slap it on your site. What if someone views that site with a non-HTML5 ready browser? No worries, Adobe's got your back. The widget falls back on Flash when it can't be viewed in HTML5. You can access the widget through Dreamweaver or, more to my liking, using Adobe Air. Squarespace is a great way to create and manage your website, whether that's a portfolio or blog or business. It's easy as drag and drop or can be highly customizable if that's your thing. They just updated the iPhone app so you have full HTML editing on the go and can easily moderate comments. Go to squarespace.com, enter a discount code GEEKBEAT and get 10% off the lifetime of your order. A robot made out of Legos that makes other Lego construction things. Like the 3D printer that makes its own replacement parts, this is the Maker Lego Bot.